Hello, hello, everybody. If you are catching this part of the video, um, you are most likely watching the replay. So I wanted to say hello and welcome. Um, this video is being live streamed on Tuesday, October 26th, 2021. Uh, so welcome. All right, I'm just going to give this a second to let people jump on and find me live. It is now officially 7 p.m. So hopefully uh, notifications are going out that I'm live. Um, so I'll just, oh, somebody's here. All right. Uh, when you join, please say hello and let me know where you're watching from if I don't already know. Hi, Mom and Alicia. Welcome. All right. So I am going to just preface everybody, let you know. Hi, Cher. Uh, oh, I like all the howdies. <laughs> um, I'm going to preface everybody. I woke up on Sunday with a cold. So if I sound a little nasally tonight or sniffle a little, I apologize. Um, hopefully last night's live went super well. I didn't need to blow my nose or anything. So fingers crossed that that's what happens tonight too. All right, so let's go ahead and just dive right in today. Um, the first thing I wanted to share with you, hold on, let me see if I can press, um, the streaming site I used added more buttons. And so I forget which one it is that I pressed to go down. I think it's this one. Um, I wanted to show this to you really fast. Before and it kind of looks like my phone camera maybe froze for a second. There we go. Um, okay, so I wanted to show you this really fast. So this is my October class to go kit. So there are three envelopes in here with um, card kit. It's three cards together. Oh my gosh, my camera keeps freezing or at least it shows me that it is. Um, hopefully we don't have problems tonight, but uh, we're gonna put these together on Thursday night during a live video. If you would like to get one of these kits so that you can put together one as well, um, you can either place an order in my online store. Oh my gosh, Cher said, do I think I'll have another bug friend? I hope not. I have not seen any since I got home from Nebraska and gosh, I hope it stays that way. <laughs> um, I, I really hope there's no bugs tonight, but they were so annoying. We had them for like a solid month. They just flew in my face all the time. I was really annoyed. But anyway, uh, back to the kit. Hopefully no bugs. I'll let you know if I see one though. Um, back to the kit really quick. If you would like to get one of these, you can either place an order in my online store using that host code that's, wait, hold on. Let me see if I can do it. Like right there, um, B2JSBMQS, or you can purchase one of these for $20 and just contact me if you want to do that and I can send you the link. All right. But this is going to be fun. That's on Thursday night. Tonight, though, we are going to, we're going to make sure nothing would fall. I'm going to take that banner off for a second. Although I will say if you want any supplies that I use tonight, you can also use that same host code. It's just a free card kit that you get on stuff you would buy anyway. So it's a pretty good deal. All right. So tonight we're going to make this cute card, which is a book bind card. And the reason it's called that is because you see it stays closed here. Right. Can you see that it stays closed here? So it's kind of like a book, which I thought was really cool. And I actually had never made one of these before. Can you believe it? I've been a demonstrator for five and a half years and I have never made one before this card. Insane. Anyway, <laughs> I love them. So we're going to I'm going to make a lot more, but we're going to make that card. And I wanted to show you that this is the Happy Holidays bundle. So this is the stamp set. That's what we're going to use tonight. It also has a punch. We're not going to use the punch tonight, but it's really cool. Um, I think it's called the Holly Leaves Punch but it's a border punch. So you can either cut it out and just use these pieces. I'm just trying not to blind you with my light there because um, it's shiny, uh, but you can just use these pieces on their own to decorate, or you could actually create like a border with it, which is pretty cool. So we're going to use this set tonight. And I'll also just show you where that is in the catalog. In case you're curious, this is page 27 of the July through December. Oh yes. Alicia says she loves that bird. Me too. He's so cute. Um, and did you know, I found out from one of my UK friends, did you know that red cardinals are only a thing in the US? I never knew that before. They said they have never seen red cardinal, uh, this person had never seen a red cardinal before. Very interesting. Anyway, and I think also I might I might be lying. Oh, Cher says she loves that bird too. Isn't he cute? I might be lying here. Uh, isn't, or not lying, but you can, somebody can fact check me. Um, aren't the red cardinals the boys? And I think female, Cardinals are a different color, right? Anyway, we're going to make a red one because that's pretty. <laughs> um, and again, I, I might be wrong on that. So double check me. But um, this is the set. It's on page 27 of the July through December mini catalog. Here's some of those punched out pieces from that uh, die or not the die, the punch there. Uh, they just use um, the pieces from Alicia said, yes. Okay. Real birds 
a freak. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like real birds either. They're fine at a distance, but when they fly towards you, uh, -uh. <laughs> um, okay. So Alicia says I'm correct. Male cardinals are red and female are not. Um, okay. But here's where they use those punched out pieces just to kind of decorate around there. And I think that's very pretty too. And then on this one, it looks like these are maybe some socks or something that they put a little tag around. Um, on this one, they actually used it as that border, which you can see there. So pretty cool. Yeah, my mom says the red cardinal is the male too. So I don't know, just a fun fact, I guess. All right, so let's make this card. As per usual, all of these measurements will be on my blog and that post will go up tomorrow morning, um, October 27th at 8 a.m. Central Daylight Time. We're almost getting back to Central Standard Time. That's kind of weird. Um, and where is... Here it is, sorry, had to grab my bone folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll actually give you these measurements, I suppose. So this basic white piece is four and a quarter by 11 inches, and then it is scored here at five and a half, which is your normal fold or score line. And then it is scored again at six and three quarters. And that's what that's the part that's gonna create this book bind for us. So this piece will fold back like this. All right, so let's get this all scored and then we're gonna start assembling. Um, and I am using the Heartwarming Hugs DSP today. Isn't it pretty? I just think it's so pretty. So let's bring in, we're going to use this side and this side. And we're going to go ahead and get this adhered. I'm going to use my handy dandy seal because I love my seal. And go ahead and put this on our Heartwarming Hugs. This paper is really pretty too. And I'm glad this actually, usually Stampin' Up! does not keep um, designer series paper in concurrent catalogs, but they actually brought this back from last year. And I'm kind of glad they did because I actually never even bought it last year. I never, I've never had this paper before this year. Uh-oh, look at that, I'm at the end. Um, yeah, Alicia said she bought two packs of that DSP. Look at it, it's so sticky. All right, um, hold please while I refill, refill my seal. All right, so we're gonna pop that in. Look, I knew this was gonna happen, so I was ready. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen tonight. So I have a seal refill here. Um, yeah, I never, I've never, like last year I did not buy this paper and I don't know why I didn't. Um, I I was just crazy, I guess, uh, because it's so pretty and I love the traditional colors in it. All right, so if you've never refilled a seal before, I'm going to show you. So here's the case that has the two prongs in it. And then you can see here that these have those two holes there and you just line it up super simple and then you just take the top and snap it on and it didn't actually make a snap noise but I can tell that it's closed <laughs> and then you might have to start it a little bit this one actually already was but I love I love seal adhesive I really do okay so we're gonna go ahead and lay this on to our square here on the front and then we're gonna go ahead and decorate or I'm sorry adhere this little piece here so this is just a scrap that I had left over. You can see I'm using like the alternating colors here. So this piece, you know, big and little switching to big and little. Um, all right. And I, so the colors in this paper are Mossy Meadow Real Red and Pear Pizzazz. And I love Pear Pizzazz for so many occasions. Like you don't even have to use it only for Christmas. It's a great fall color. It's a great like summer flower color. It's just a great color. So I'm glad it's in this paper because it's pretty. And I think this um, this design looks kind of vintagey, which is fun. Okay, so we've got these guys on here. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in this real red sheer ribbon and look at how fun that is. You can see right through it. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and cut a strip that's just you know overlapping um, this four and a quarter piece here. And I'm gonna go ahead and adhere it. So what I'm gonna do is flip to the inside of my card you can see that I've got the two score lines here. So I'm gonna put some seal at the top and the bottom in between those score lines. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lay down one of my ends of this ribbon and we'll string it all the way across the front and adhere it to the back here. All right, just like that. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my seal and put some more down. I'm gonna put kind of a lot down and Oh, uh, yes, I agree, Alicia. She said she wishes they had pear pizzazz blends. I so agree with you. Um, I usually get away with using granny apple green. 
you know, sometimes I'll cheat. And if I'm using pear pizzazz cardstock, I'll just use granny apple green blends. <laughs> I know it's not the same, but you have to make do. And we have old olives. So you, I don't know, maybe they couldn't get the colors to be distinct enough. I know that like for our bumblebee color, which is this guy, um, they couldn't get the color for the blends to be different enough from Daffodil Delight, which is like crazy because those two inks are just way different, but they couldn't get it different enough for the blends. So they didn't make bumblebee blends. Anyway, I suppose they have to make the hard decisions, right? We just make the pretty projects. <laughs> All right. So I am just going to cut off some more of this ribbon here and I'm going to tie a little knot. Now this is my favorite way to do ribbon because I find it a lot easier than if I had just tried to like wrap all the way around and do a knot because everything just stays in place, right? And now my only concern is a knot, not keeping the ribbon centered. So there we go. We've got a cute little knot on there. Um, hi, Sarah. She says she is new here and she's happy to see a card being made. Well, welcome, Sarah. Um, where are you joining us from, if you don't mind sharing? Uh, and actually, Sarah, you reminded me to mention that if you are watching and not commenting, please leave me a comment because somebody will go in a drawing to win this card that we're making right now live. Um, and I will draw for that after the live video tonight. OK, so we've got this all done. So we oh, Boston, that's pretty fun. My cousin is in grad school out in Boston right now at Northeastern. So that's pretty cool. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do some stamping. And I've got my inside piece here. Now, again, you guys know that I'm a sucker for the white layer on the inside. Even if the card base is white, I always like the sturdiness of that extra piece on the inside. So this is what we're going to do to the inside. And so I'm going to leave that open. I know you can't really see it. And of course, I've got my gross little scratch paper here, but it's okay. You don't care, right? <laughs> oh, Sarah says her husband went there. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, she just started there this year, so I think she's out there for another three years or so, um, but we are from Minnesota, so kind of a drive for her. Well, not a drive. She flies, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and hi, Debbie. Thanks for watching. All right, so we have got some holly stamped there. I'm going to move this out of the way, and then we're going to go ahead and do our sentiment here, and we're going to use real red ink, and I think the sentiment is so nice. It says, wishing your family health and happiness throughout the coming year. I think this is like the perfect sentiment for, you know, the times we're living in because all we can really wish for is health and happiness, right? So I hope you and your family have health and happiness this year too. Um, okay, so then I'm going to pull in Pear Pizzazz ink. And I thought that these dots in the stamp set were kind of random, but fun. So I was like, you know what, let's just add them below the sentiment because it's just kind of fun. I don't know what they're like intended for but they're cute. So <laughs> we're going to use them. <laughs> All right. So there is our pair of pizzazz. And let me just scoot that out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and adhere this. I'm going to put this not too far away because we're going to use it again. And we're going to go ahead and adhere this to the inside of our card. So I've got my seal again. I love this stuff so much. All right. So we're going to go ahead, add that and Oh, yes. Love a good dot stamp. And Sarah says she loves the idea with the dots. Yeah, I just wanted to use them because I didn't know what they were supposed to be used for. And maybe I should look at the catalog again and see if it, you know, shows a sample with them. But I don't know. I thought it was kind of cute. So. All right. So then I have got these two circles here that I went ahead and cut out with our layering circles die sets. We're going to take this basic white one and stamp our bird on it. So I'm going to use some tuxedo black memento ink. And um, one thing I've noticed that's been kind of going around lately is the no line um, coloring technique. And actually, if you are subscribed to my email newsletter, I'm going to show you a card with that in tomorrow's um, 12 weeks of Christmas. And I decided to do black tonight, but the no line water coloring is really cool. And so basically what you do is you just stamp this in like a Sahara sand or some kind of light ink instead of the black. And um, what it does is that it makes it so you can't really see the lines, right? Because the ink is so light. And I don't know, it's just a really cool, it's a really cool technique. And I thought, you know, I actually have some friends, Barry and Jay, who live in the UK, they're demonstrators over in the UK, and they colored this bird the other day. And oh my gosh, it is stunning, absolutely gorgeous. 
I'm not that good at coloring. <laughs> um, I do my best, but for now I'll stick with the black. <laughs> but like I said, if you want to see a sample of no line coloring and you're not already subscribed to my newsletter, make sure you do that. The link to do that is in the description of this video. It is newsletter.stampwithmelissa.com. So pretty easy to remember. Okay, so I've got some stamp and blends here and this is real red. I just used the dark one on the top of the bird and I'm going to use, well, actually I'm gonna use a little bit of the dark one on the bottom part of the belly of the bird too, um, but not too much. And we're gonna keep the belly of the bird pretty light. All right, let's see here. And while I do this, uh, do they use blends? Yes, they do use blends. I'll see if I can find it here at the end of our video. So if you wanna see the picture that I'm talking about, stay on at the end, I'll share my screen and see if I can find the one that they did because it is gorgeous. Um, but while I'm coloring here, tell me what you did this weekend or even in the last week. I know I missed my live video last week. Hopefully you caught my pre-recorded video for you. Um, I was down in Nebraska with my family and that was a fun and really fast little trip down there. So we went swimming, we went to the zoo and you know what, you guys, I had to cave and buy some penguin earmuffs for the zoo because it wasn't even 50 degrees <laughs> the day we went. And I did not pack for less than 50 degree weather at an outdoor zoo. I'll tell you that much. So I've got some really fashionable and cute penguin earmuffs that will carry me through the winter now. <laughs> um, I actually told my niece she could have them, but we'll see. They're still in my possession currently, so. All right, so I'm gonna use an ivory blend here to do the beak and the feet or talons. And we're just gonna color those guys in. And then also I am going to use the light gray granite blend. Um, and I'm gonna ground this bird. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda color a little bit just so it doesn't look like he's floating. And I'm gonna go in between his feet here too. Let's see, Sarah left a comment. She said she made a baby quilt and lunch with a friend. That sounds awesome. Um, I would love to see a picture of the quilt because that kind of stuff always intrigues me. I am not a quilter. I don't know. I don't even know how you quilt. I don't like I don't I don't know anything about the process of quilting. So um, all right. So there's our cute little bird. Isn't he so fun? Okay, so then we'll go ahead and stamp our sentiment for the front. And I think they had our European friends in mind when they chose this because it says Happy Christmas instead of Merry Christmas. And if you ask me, I like Happy Christmas too. I think it's kind of a, a fun, it's a fun saying. And I'm gonna pull in my uh, grid or my scrap paper again because this is cling mount. So just to make sure I don't stamp on my surface here. And you know what, I'm gonna slide it down. It might go out of camera for a second, just so I can get my head over and make sure I get on the um, piece there. There we go, pretty good. Um, pretty low key weekend and Alicia's aunt came to visit on Saturday. That sounds awesome. Um, yeah, so the reason we were down in Nebraska was because my 15 year old niece, Allie lives there and we had to pick her up on Thursday and drive her home. So we picked her up Thursday after school and drove all the way back up here. And then we saw her on Saturday when we went to the pumpkin patch and that was fun. Actually, it was really funny because um, my dad and I are, are, we have very similar humor and sarcasm and sass, I would say. <laughs> and we were at the corn pit and my youngest niece and nephew, where'd my seal go? Here it is. Uh, my younger niece and nephew were in the corn pit and the older one, Allie, was eating some popcorn. And I turned to her and I said, I heard that they got the kernels for the popcorn from the corn pit that Kylie and Russell are playing in. And she was like, are you kidding me? Like, she thought I was serious. She was like, seriously, like, that's so gross, right? <laughs> and I was like, no, no, I'm just kidding. Well, two minutes later, not even kidding, two minutes later, my dad, who did not hear me say that to her, says the same exact thing to her. The same exact thing to her. So she turns to me and says, yeah, there's like no question on your DNA. <laughs> like you're definitely related. <laughs> I just thought that was so funny that, you know, he said the same thing that I did, that the, the popcorn kernels came from the corn pit that all the kids were playing in, right? <laughs> just thought that was funny. All right, so I um, adhered the basic white to the red from, uh, or with my seal, sorry, some comments were coming in. Hi, Kathleen from Florida and hi, Sue. Um, who's watching, she loves book cards. Yeah, me too, aren't they cute? 
All right, so I adhered those with seal and then put them on the card front with dimensionals. Then we've got our cute little sentiments here and I am gonna put dimensionals on the right hand side of these because they're gonna lay over the top of this a little bit. And you see that I took that sentiment and stamped it down and then I cut it apart. So to make, you know, cause it's kind of a longer sentiment and I didn't really have space for it. <laughs> uh, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and tack that down right there. And then we're gonna take this other guy and put him right there like that. Isn't that cute? All right, last but not least, matte black dots, of course. Um, Ew, oh, Cher says she found a dead critter in a corn pit once, but they went back in anyway. Uh-uh, gross, yuck. <laughs> um, what kind of critter, can I ask? <laughs> but that sounds terrifying, absolutely terrifying. Um, this corn pit was actually indoors, so hopefully they don't have, hopefully they don't have like critters running around. Anyway, um, okay, so there's some matte black dots, and I used three of the bigger ones there. And there is our completed card. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna keep chatting with you guys, but I'll say here really quick, I'll turn back to me, hold on. Here I am. Um, thank you, or actually, you know what I'll do? I'll do this, hold on, let me, technology, watch this, ready? Whoa, <laughs> um, so I'll keep these on in case you wanted to see. Uh, oh, thanks mom. Uh, and thanks, Alicia, too. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching tonight. Now, I told you that my... Ooh, a mouse! Gross! Ugh. So Cher said that they found a mouse, and the people that run the place said it's fairly common to find them. Gross. Nope. No thanks. <laughs> um, well, thank you guys so much for watching tonight. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, in probably about 10 to 15 minutes, I will share on my Facebook page uh, who wins this card, and then I will get it mailed out. So if I don't have your address, I'll say that I need it, and then just message me or email me your address. Um, and then also, don't forget about this guy, our class to go, um, which is on Thursday night. Now, anybody can watch on the live video. You Here, let me pop here. You do not have to have the... Oh, Sarah said, do I go live on Tuesday? Yes, I do, Sarah. I go live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time, or... 7 p.m. Central Time, I'll say, because when we switch to CST, it'll still be at 7. <laughs> but um, this class, you do not have to have the Joyful Life stamp set. You can absolutely substitute it out for something else. If you want the Joyful Life stamp set, you can go ahead and order that in my online store. I think it's around, it's either 19 or $21. So then just add a couple of extras, maybe some dimensionals or embellishments, and you will hit that $25 threshold to get this kit for free. So nothing better or else you can buy it for 20 bucks um buy that kit for 20 bucks but okay i'm gonna go on and see if i can find that photo so i said i would share with you my friends barry and jay in the uk made or colored in that bird that we did tonight and they did a no line water coloring and let me just see if i can find it really quick hold on it wants me to log in <laughs> um so if you don't want to see the photo, then thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you do want to see the photo, hold on one second and I will find it for you. Okay, so let's see. Um, here it is. Click, click, click. All right. Okay, so I'm going to pop it up on my screen and then I am going to share my screen so you can see it. Okay, hold on one second. And here we go. Can you guys see that? Look at that bird. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. Just so pretty. So if you are on Instagram and you want to follow Barry and Jay, they can be found at, I think it's pronounced Mitosu Crafts. Uh, beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. And then they also use that punch too, where they used it as the banner kind of to create that layer and they just did three strips of it absolutely gorgeous such a pretty bird i am not that talented but you know i'll keep trying and maybe someday i will be right so yeah yeah isn't that gorgeous oh thank you kathleen for sharing my video all right well i uh will catch you guys on thursday night for our class to go and 
I will, um, yeah, I'll catch you on Thursday. <laughs> and then I'll be live again next week. We Next week, we are going to use the um, Ever Eden or Eden's Garden is what it's called, I think. Uh, we're going to use that bundle because it will be available to you on Tuesday. So I'm going to use that to kind of show you what that kit is or suite is all about. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and please give this video a big thumbs up and like or subscribe, depending on if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. And make sure you check out my Facebook page in just about 10-ish minutes to see who won tonight's card. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.